So my first project to put on here is kind of a poor project, but it actually works out really nicely. Um, today I'm just going to be making the base for the solenoid engine. It works out nicely because um, I'll be able to get some practice um, being able to say, okay, I need to get this cut, I can put the camera here and get this shot, I need to get this angle on this perspective of it. I really want to get this detail of this part or this piece. This piece. And it'll give me some practice on the editor to make the video. So what I'm going to do is use a big chunk of Apatong wood to make the base. I need to cut it down to size and then I need to put the bevel on the edge. So let's get started. My dad used to design trailers for uh, flatbed trailers and they used to use this wood from South America as inlays on the bed and he used to be able to get these scrap chunks and bring them home and for years they've just been sitting out here in the shed and so I've slowly but surely started to think okay how, how can I use those. And so I'm going to be using this entire piece to make the base for that solenoid engine. So first things first, I'm going to use a table saw to clean up that edge and this one. Big old chunk of my push board came off there. Scared me off to death. So I'm just going to put a new one on this side. Well, I forgot to refocus the camera, but it did it again on that side too. I think it's because as I was pushing it against the cam arm, I took my hand off to push the piece through the blade, and then I would, I would take my hand around to pull it through instead of pushing it through. And in that process, I think this wiggled around where the blade was, and it got caught in the blade, and the blade just ripped it right off. So, kind of scary. But now I got the sides cleaned up, and I gotta get the front. And I'll remember to refocus the camera this time.
end product doesn't look half bad um, I wasn't able to clean up the top surface as well as I wanted to but I figured you know it's no one's really gonna care other than me um, I think if I had more time to kill I would have cleaned it up a little bit better but gonna let that poly set overnight come out and grab it in the morning and head on to class show it off so I went out and got it this morning it dried pretty nicely it looks really good there's still some blemishes on the surface that uh, I probably should have cleaned up a little bit better, but for what I'm doing with it, that'll probably be parts over those pieces. So now I'm going to make the two pieces that will hold the cam rotator. So the next part of this build is to make the two parts right here that are actually holding the solenoid. It's a little hard to see on the camera, but it's basically just going to be two pieces of wood that'll come up. And I'm going to curve around the top piece just to make it look pretty. And I'm not going to drill the hole through it yet just because I don't know how big the diameter of that piece is going to be. There's another guy from my class that's going to uh, get that part so then, then I'll know how big to make it. But for right now I'm just going to make these two pieces. So I think I'm not going to put a uh, stain or any kind of coating on them just yet just because I don't want to have to do all that and then drill through it to put to make the holes to be able to put the pieces through and then have to coat it back over. So I'm just going to leave them as is for right now and then I'll take one to class tonight and I'll see what my partner thinks and then uh, hopefully he'll have that part ready so I'll know exactly what kind of diameter to put um, the hole in and then we can get started from there.